right, let's formulize it all up here. Explicit formulas for arithmetic sequences part two. This is the theorem that says it all. The nth term, and we'll call it a sub n, of an arithmetic sequence with first term a sub 1 and constant difference d is given by the explicit formula a sub n equals a sub n plus 1, or a sub 1 plus the quantity n minus 1 times d. All right, this is your initial condition right here. This is where you're starting. And here, this is your constant rate um, of you know what's happening. Are you adding the same number over and over and over and over again, or are you subtracting the same number over and over and over and over again? Okay, so this is your constant difference. Okay, and that will give you the term. So all you got to know: am I on the tenth term, the eleventh term, the twelfth term, the first term, the second term? Plug that number in here, and you're good to go. All right, let's see here. Here's the general form. Okay, here's an example. Okie dokie. Find the 40th term of this sequence. 197, 94, 91, dot, dot, dot. This goes on. I don't feel like writing this out 39 times just to find out what the 40th is. So I'm going to use the explicit formula. All right, so all we need is our initial condition. All right, we're starting the ball off at 100. So we have 100 plus the quantity, all right, n minus 1. Well, n is 40, so it would be 40 minus 1 times the, the difference here. Okay, now what's happening? In each case, we're getting 3 less and 3 less and 3 less. So we're adding a negative 3, or subtracting 3, if you will. But I'm going to write that as negative 3. Okay, this will tell you the number of times you've subtracted 3. All right, so working inside the parentheses, what we're really doing is subtracting 3 39 times. All righty, and then that's going to let us get this. A sub 40 is going to be equal to 100 plus this times this is negative 117. And when you add those together, A sub 40 will be equal to negative 17. So explicit formula. Bang! You plug in the 40, you subtract 1, you multiply, you've got it. All right, now in this world, we really, we should be able to program our computers and our calculators to do stuff like this for us. We need to have that ability, that knowledge. It should be like picking up a pencil. So, let's go ahead and write a little program on our calculators that would go ahead and... All right, let's start this program. Let's go ahead, press your program button and give your program a name and then go to edit and let's begin. As soon as you see your first colon we're going to start with our initial condition and we're going to store 100 in a variable we'll call it A. Alright, now we've got to begin our loop. We want to generate 40, 40 terms of this. Okay, but we want the we want to do it explicitly. We want to do it with this formula right here. So we're going to go for the number of terms n is one to forty, and this is the way we we record that number of terms will be n one to forty, all separated by commas. Okay, the formula, the explicit formula, is quite simply one hundred plus the quantity n minus 1, close quantity, times negative 3. Okay. And then we want to display the a on the screen. And then we want to end the program. Okay, so right here is your loop, these three lines of code. This is going to go over and over and over and over 40 times. Now the first time through the loop, let's see what will happen here. The first time through the loop, if we put a 1 in there, 1 minus 1 is 0. 0 times negative 3 is 0. So by George, you're going to get 100. It will work right there like that. 